Hello everybody and welcome to a new mission in Steel Fury Kharkov 1942 where today we play the Jagdpanzer IV. In October 1944 during the Gumbinnen operation at the East Prussian border. Now that we have finished Operation Frederikus, I think I will play a few missions with tanks requested by my viewers. The Jagdpanzer IV was requested by Lucius666. Thank you very much for that. If you have a tank from World War II that you would like to see played, write it into the comments. I'll check if it is in the game and I'll play a mission with it. So, this little awesome tank here. Um, it's based on a modified Panzer IV chassis with a big gun on top. Really great tank hunter, ambusher. Not so great when used as an assault gun, which um, the Wehrmacht ha frequently had to do because they were running out of real assault guns and tanks. So this thing had to do stuff that it wasn't designed to do. But if you can use it as a tank hunter in its intended role, then this thing is really awesome. Let me just check. I do have one more with me. Make sure that he follows me. Where am I? There I am. Okay, we have a large attacking force coming in towards this little hamlet here. And we are going to capture that. Let's go. Ah, there's our second... Uh, second Panzer, uh, Jagd Panzer 4. Really nice. Now, of course, this thing does not have a turret. It's a casemate design. And that brings its own challenges, which you will see soon. For now, we will continue here. Make sure that our flanks are secure. Right flank should be absolutely fine. We have more than enough friendlies there. And we'll try to advance into this village. I think this half-track is already taking fire and is turning around. Not sure though. Okay, here's a road. Let's get up on the embankment. Okay, the enemy... I think they have a mortar here. Yeah, that's a mortar. Enemy tank. Get in. And switch over to my gunner's perspective. What the hell are you? Oh, damn it. I'm too low. Come on, reload. Oh, there we go. That's one IS down. That's an enemy machine gun and an enemy mortar behind the house. Let's take that out. If we can. What else is there? That's an 88. Why do they have an 88? Let's destroy that. Come on, reload. There we go. I think our track has been blown off. Oh my god, all kinds of stuff is happening right now. Let's get the mortar down. What the hell is happening? That's an enemy tank! Come on, reload that. Reload. Range should be about... Yeah, range should be fine. Just get the shell into the breach. There we go. One more. Oh, um... It has noticed me. That was a good hit. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Let's make sure that this thing really is dead. Yeah, it's burning. Enemy AT gun was reported. Over here somewhere. 
Let's see if we can find it. That's a half track. That's the enemy mortar. My um, hull mounted machine gun is engaging. Successfully, by the way. Okay, I won't waste a high explosive shell on that. I do not have a lot of those. Oh boy. Okay, for the moment we seem to be fine. Can we move? I think we can. Alright, let's try to advance deeper into the hamlet here. I'll switch to my tank commander's position. And see if we can take a look through our periscope. Yes, the tank commander does have a periscope. However, it's really not great, especially not once you get close to the enemy. The magnification is just too great to be really useful. But, halt, those are Soviet soldiers. They're running away and are being mowed down by my guys and also by, by what the hell? Panzer Shrecker, oh nice. You go. That's awesome. That is really awesome. I think, I think we are doing fine here. Panzer Force are advancing. Look at the Panzer IV with the side skirts. I love that design. Oh, my Panzer Shreks are really going at it. And the enemies are running. They certainly are, so let's go. I'll even have a look around. Let's in fact go over here and make sure that the mortar has really been taken out. Mission accomplished. Congratulations, you captured the village of Turin. Uh, let me be the judge of that. Yeah, screw that tree. Whoa. Okay. The tree is fighting back. But I'm winning. <laughs> Let's go. Let's make sure that we really have the enemies on the run here. But it looks like this is mission accomplished. Oh, poor guy. Okay, coming through the hedge here. This was the mortar position. Let's set up on this hill. This is looking quite nice. Although the enemy does have trenches here apparently. So we have to be a little bit careful that they are not still occupied. Uh, doesn't look like it though, but the enemy seems to have a machine gun somewhere. Can we spot it? What's going on? That's an enemy tank. I think that was a self-propelled gun. SU-76 by the silhouette. It went somewhere over there. So I don't know. Should we hunt that thing? I think we should. Let's go. Okay, going through the trench. Uh, I'll pass the the sunflower field here to the right side, and maybe I can intercept the self-propelled gun. Come on, keep going. It's a heavy vehicle. The Jagdpanzer IV was a really heavy vehicle. Something that um, actually most of the German tanks suffered from. Way too much mass. 
and therefore prone to breaking down and stuff like that. There's only so much that a gearbox and an engine can take. But yeah, if you have a little bit of a downhill drive ahead of you, this thing can pick up some speed. Okay. Is there an enemy self-propelled gun here? Yes or no? And if yes, where is it? That is not a self-propelled gun, that's a Panzer IV. I didn't order you to turn around, but... Oh, there it is. Um... Where is it? I think it was directly in front of me. But where exactly? I can't really see it. Let's um, use the periscope. Let's try to do that. No visual. Okay, let's pop the hatch. I actually think it was directly here in front of me. Behind this tree. Oh yes, there it is. Here it actually is, so... Let's finish it off. Aim low. Too low. Put in one more. There we go. That looked like a good hit. And they think they are bailing. Oh yeah, they are. That thing is done. Back to my tank commander. Let's reverse out of this. And let's let the Panzer IV deal with uh, anything that might still be at close range here. And we'll go over to the right side. Make sure that nothing is left over here. Enemy infantry behind me. Oh yes, Tanku. Where is he? Can't really see him. There he is. Go get him. He's behind this tree now. Okay, there we go. That should be an easy shot, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now, while the um, Jagdpanzer IV does not have a coaxial machine gun, it does have a hull-mounted machine gun that can be used by the loader. You can see the gun port here on the uh, side of the tank. Okay, I think we did it. I think this is pretty much over. Let's come up here onto this little road here. And drive into the village. Come on, keep going. Uh, a lot of dead Soviets out on the field. The half tricks did an amazing job. And there is something like a parade ground here. 
Oh, okay. I think I know what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be um, basically the border crossing. I guess. So. We managed to recapture part of the East Prussian border from the Soviets. However, as we know, history won't allow us to keep it for very long. The Soviet juggernaut will keep going for Berlin. And here we are. Okay, let's hold here. And let's have a look at our statistics. Now, our statistics are showing that we fired 17 shots. We fired 332 rounds from the machine gun. We scored 24 hits. Took no hits in return. We destroyed two targets. Killed 23 enemy soldiers. We were credited with destroying the Flak 36, so that's the 88. And with destroying the SU-76. Now I know that I did destroy the ice 2 I think it was. So I'm not sure why I was not credited with that, but yeah, whatever. Let me just do something here. Please lift up the gun. It looks depressing if you have it like that. That's better. Okay, back to the statistics now. Let's go through the vehicles really quick. Okay, this was the 88 that we destroyed. Um, fearsome weapon, that could have hurt us. How did the Soviets get their hands on this thing? They even painted it green. <laughs> That's nice of them. Okay, here we have the IS-2 actually. Yes, that was an IS-2. And that shell was ours. No doubt about that. Let's check for damage. Okay, there was one shell fired into the back of the turret here. A panzer grenade 43.7 centimeters, so fired by one of the half tracks, I believe. Of course, that did not penetrate. No chance in hell. A few more things. Yeah, the small 3.7 centimeter shells had no chance at all. And then came in my shell. Impacted the turret cheek here at 240 meters and punched right through. Detonated inside. Um, driver, gunner, command and loader were all killed. The ammunition was blown up. The radio was destroyed. Fuel tanks were ruptured. Transformed this vehicle into a really nice torch. What else is there? An ISU-122. Ah, that's the big boxy thing that came out of the uh, field here. Look at that! We did put some rounds into this thing. But yeah, we'll see what actually happened here. So, here's one amusing thing that happened. A tank shell, and this was not fired by me, I believe. I don't think that was fired by me. But a tank shell impacted the gun barrel and disabled the gun. So this thing was combat ineffective. Another shell came into the side here, actually damaged the ammunition. Also not fired by me, I think. These shells here were fired by me. Maybe, well, maybe this shell was fired by me, I'm not sure anymore. Did it show me the right side, uh, its left side at some point? I don't remember. You can write it into the comments. But here we have a few really nice hits that are certainly made by me, all of those. And we can see that one of those hits actually killed the gunner, the commander and the loader, also damaged the ammunition and the fuel tank. But we can also see that at least two of those shots here penetrated deeper into the tank where they blew up and uh, damaged the ammunition racks and the radio. So I think I should be credited with this kill. But never mind. Uh, that's me, yes. There's my second Jagdpanzer 4. That's a really nice vehicle. 
but they are playing a casemate design is really more challenging than when you have a tank with a turret. Especially if you have to go for a close range fight. If you can stay at a distance, the casemate, it's not a problem. You can make it work. But as soon as you get in close, it gets really hairy, really quick. Okay, the enemy had a few machine guns, nothing special there. Ah, uh -huh, the mortars, 82mm battalion mortars. We know who killed those, don't we? Then what's here? Oh, a Panzer? Panzerkampfwagen 2, Ausführung L, Lux. A Panzer 2, basically, Lux. Isn't this thing cute? <laughs> Look at that. How can they fit people inside of this? Four people, apparently. Apparently, they fit four people inside of this. How? How do you do that and still have room for a gun and an engine and everything else? That must be so cramped. That's a nice little thing. I bet it's fast. It has to be, because I don't think it has any armor to speak of. What else do we have? Panzer 4H. Uh, this one. Ah, the Panzer 4 with the side skirts. Look at that. That's a really nice camel painting on these things. Now this one was hit by a 76mm gun, which did damage the ammunition. But other than that, the vehicle seems to be completely fine. Nice. And here we have another one. Later on, they um, removed these hatches in the side of the turret. Because, well, you had the skirt on the side and it was just to save some um, time and costs in the production. They removed these hatches, they removed basically the ability to open anything here. But it's a really nice looking tank. I, I wouldn't mind playing a Panzer IV again. Really solid weapon. What else do we have? Another panzer form. Again with the side skirts. Ah, one panel has been blown off here in the back at some point. Maybe not in this fight, maybe earlier. Nice looking vehicle. What else is new? Half tracks. These two have a really nice camo scheme to them. Uh, this one was actually hit by a Panzer Grenade 40 that was fired by our own forces, I believe. How did that happen? However, Panzer Grenade 40, it's a solid core shot. So it um, just passed through the whole vehicle without disabling any of the systems, although apparently it did cost the gunner his life. Uh, they also had some AT rifle shooting at it. Nothing serious though. What else do we have? Another half-track that has become damaged and this one was hit by a 122mm shell, so that must have been hit by the ISU-122. And afterwards this thing decided to drive away, <laughs> which was very smart. Where is the village actually? I can't even see the fires that are burning in the village. Okay, so we are quite a distance away. They basically ran away. Another half trick. Uh, this one had its engine disabled or damaged by a bullet. But other than that, they are fine. Wow. Where are these half tricks scattered? This one is okay. What else is there? Ah, yeah. This half trick over here. This too has a really nice camel painting. I like it. And 
it's one more half track that has been abandoned because it has been shot at a lot by the 88 in fact 88 against the half track now these shells you can see it here this is a good example see this shell here it impacted 138 meters it impacted here continued through the vehicle impacted again back here and just um, flew off into the distance maybe it detonated behind the vehicle somewhere here but that was simply not enough to arm the shell it just continued through paper thin armor and here we have the SU-76 now I think I killed this one as well although there is a hit here that killed the commander and damaged the engine and then we have my two shots into the back that did destroy the engine and the ammunition and the transmission and also the other shell killed apparently the driver destroyed the engine, the ammunition, the radio and the weapon and we have one more vehicle on the battlefield, what is it? a 76.2mm cannon, a ZIS-3 that has been destroyed by somebody and I'm really glad this thing is nasty nasty powerful now that was a really nice mission as I said I'll be playing um, a few of these missions where you guys can request a vehicle and I'm really looking forward to the requests what are your favorite tanks just write it into the comments I'll check if they're included in the game if they are I'll play them simple as that look at that animated hatches this is nice really nice nice vehicle I enjoyed this and after we have played a few single-player missions in Steel Fury Cargo of 1942, I will be ready to start the next project. I already gave you a hint in the last mission of Operation Federicus. I can give you one more. The next project will focus on um, a game that uses the same engine, or let's say a much more advanced version of this game's engine. You'll see, it will be really nice. So, until next week, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Until then, goodbye.